And joining us today on Connected Congress from Washington is Democrat Reuben Keewen. Uh, Congressman Keewen, thank you very much for joining us today. Good to see you. I've, I've got to begin, sir, with the question. Thank Everybody, you, Jeff. Good, good to talk to you. Have to begin with a question everybody wants to ask you. Are you going to run for re-election again? Uh, well, look, Jeff, uh, first of all, uh, I want to say thank you to all of my constituents uh, who have been reaching out uh, in the last few months and in the last few days, uh, encouraging me to run again for re-election. Uh, but as I've been telling them, uh, this is the greatest honor of my life to be able to serve here in the United States House of Representatives, representing the greatest state in the country. And as of right now, I am focused on the issues that are impacting our country. Uh, you saw today we had the National Walkout Day by these students uh, who are demanding action on gun reform. Uh, we have yet to pass the DREAM Act. Uh, we're trying to work on an infrastructure bill. Uh, and so right now, again, I'm not focused on a re-election. I'm focused on doing the job that I was elected to do. Well, you've got two days left. If, if you did want to throw your hat in the ring, there's filing Thursday and there's filing on Friday. Where are you, how are you leaning at this point? Again, Jeff, uh, I've been focusing on doing the job that I was elected to do. Uh, I do fly back on Friday. Uh, but again, right now, uh, we have a very busy week here in Washington, D.C. It's barely Wednesday. And uh, again, I'm not focusing on a future election. Uh, or any other politics other than representing my constituents here in Washington. All right, Congressman, we'll move on. I want to talk about guns because you brought it up today, obviously. Uh, all of you in Washington are watching to what we see back here, that, that big, huge student walkout uh, coast to coast. Here also in Las Vegas, the House passed a school safety measure today, spends money on safety training and that type of thing. No gun control, though, in, in the measure that passed, by the way, overwhelmingly, uh, in the House. Uh, Republicans say they've got no plans to uh, pass more legislation to address mass shootings. Uh, your reaction to that? Well, I'm very disappointed that this Republican-controlled Congress refuses to address one of the most important issues that is happening here in our country today, and that is gun violence prevention. Uh, you know, what we saw in Las Vegas on October 1st, the largest mass shooting in American history, that should have been uh, a, a warning uh, to Congress that we need to act immediately. Uh, but we didn't do anything then. Uh, I'm all for thoughts and prayers. I believe in God, but I also believe in, 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 in action. And I believe that this Congress needs to take action immediately so we can continue preventing uh, these types of shootings all across the country. Unfortunately, because we didn't take action back then, uh, we just had another shooting uh, where 17 students uh, died. Again, it is completely unacceptable, and, and it's, it's a shame that the NRA has a stranglehold on many of these legislators who refuse to take action. You know, right now, we should not be listening to the NRA. We should be listening to the American people, and the American people want us to take action. They want us to pass universal backgrounds check. They want us to ban bump stocks. They want us to put a limit on, on the high-capacity ammo, and so on and so on. There's so many things that we can do right now to prevent these type of shootings happening in the future. How did you vote today, Congressman? The measure passed by, I think, 407 yes, 10 no. I presume you were in the yes camp. Absolutely, Jeff. And again, we have to be doing everything possible right now in this country to prevent these mass shootings from happening. Uh, we just saw it a few days ago as well at the uh, Veterans Home in California where three hardworking employees just went to work that morning. And unfortunately, because somebody was not receiving the treatment that they deserved and was able to obtain guns, uh, you know, three people died. So again, we have to do something. Uh, doing nothing is not part of the solution. The American people deserve better. The American people deserve for this Congress to put the partisanship aside, to put the Republican or Democrat aside, and to do something about these mass shootings. Let's talk about DACA. As you all know, it's technically expired, although it's hung up in, in, in the court right now. Uh, do you see any plausible legislation coming forward in the near term that could address the, the situation that these dreamers are facing? I'm optimistic that before this Congress ends that we are able to pass a DREAM Act or some sort of permanent solution for the DREAMers. Again, it is unacceptable that these 14,000 Nevadans, young DREAMers, were promised that they were going to have an opportunity at the American Dream just a few years ago. And today we have a president who rescinded their DACA status, who is not giving them reassurance that they are 
uh, wanted and accepted in this country. And in many instances, a lot of these youth, they're not just students, they are professionals already. They're serving in the military, they are our teachers in Nevada, they are our future doctors. They deserve an opportunity at the American dream and I hope that this Congress, again, puts their partisanship fights aside and that we pass a DREAM Act to give a permanent solution to these youth. Congressman, let me end here. I'd like to ask you anything else you'd like to tell your constituents. No, that's it. Just want to say thank you for this opportunity that you've given me to serve you. I am working tirelessly here in Washington, D.C. on your behalf. Congressman Ruben Kewin talking to us today on Connected Congress from Washington. Congressman, thank you very much. Thank you, Jeff.